Hi, my name is Coach Jim O'Connor from a website called wellnessword.com. Now in today's really important video, you're gonna discover the difference between the paleo diet, the intermittent fasting approach, and the Mediterranean diet. Which one works the best? And when I say the best, I'm looking at which diet plan will you lose the most weight on? Number one, which diet plan will give you the best healthcare markers, such as lower LDL? And number three, which plan will people adhere to the most? Now, to answer these questions, there was a study done in New Zealand recently where they took 250 individuals, both men and women, they were overweight individuals, average age was approximately 42 years of age. And they had all of these 250 people choose the particular approach they wanted to work on. And they tracked it for not a, not a few months, but one year. 12 whole months they tracked them. So some took the paleo approach, some took intermittent fasting, which was obviously the greatest choice. That was the choice that people chose the most. And some took the, uh, the paleo uh, lithic approach. So Mediterranean, intermittent fasting, and paleo. That was divided up amongst the 250 people. They were tracked for uh, one year. Each approach, they were given instruction uh, with a 30-minute consultation for up to two months and also some written materials on what to do and how to be successful. And they were also given an exercise program on every single plan. Now the results. Once again, I just mentioned earlier that the plan that was chosen the most was intermittent fasting. The plan chosen the least was the paleo approach. So which one lost the most weight? Which group showed the most weight loss? It was, interesting enough, was intermittent fasting was number one. That was showed the most, the greatest weight loss. And the Mediterranean diet was in second place on that particular, in this particular study. So that was interesting. What about healthcare markers? Once again, it was intermittent fasting and it was also uh, the Mediterranean diet. And the third was, we wanted to discuss the adherence portion of it. So which plan had the greatest adherence to? It was actually the Mediterranean diet plan, and I attribute that to being easier to follow. Now, there are three different ideas uh, amongst all these, the research that came out in this particular study that you really need to understand in order to help you reach their goals. Number one, if you want to go on a dietary approach, you want to make it a sustainable, correct? Because if you can't sustain it, you're not gonna be successful. The most difficult approach to adhere to, which was the paleo, was the most difficult as far as the, the least amount of success in results. So I hope you can understand what I meant by that. So the least amount of results, the harder it is to follow, it, the lower results you're gonna get because it's hard to stick to and hard to sustain and adhere to. So when you pick a plan, you have to be able to Pick a plan you're comfortable with that you can adhere to for a long time, including up to a year. And it, the number two we're going to discuss here is the, the coaching factor. There are people that were not coached for 10 months out of the study. They were coached for the first two months. And guess what happened? The intermittent fasting group and the Mediterranean diet group, they could gained weight after those two months. They still lost weight overall because they lost a lot in the beginning and they ended up gaining some of the weight back because they weren't coached. They didn't have an accountability piece there helping them. And the third thing you really want to understand, the point that I want to emphasize in regards to all three of these studies is if you're seeking that quick fix solution to lose weight quick, it's probably going to be a short term situation. It's very difficult to stick with something that you can't adhere to that's really difficult to follow long term. So please understand that particular comment. Uh, and you can lose body fat and weight on almost any dietary approach as, approach as long as you decrease your calories long enough. But the question is, is how long can you adhere to it? So please understand that it's going to help you long term in your approach to, to uh, weight loss. Now, for watching this video, thank you so much for taking the time. I have a free report for you that's going to help you. It's called Fat Loss Forever, the top seven ways to prime your brain into permanent fat loss. 
It can be found at my website right now for 100% free. All you need to do is go to www.wellnessword.com. And there you're going to find a box where you put your first name and your email address in and you're going to get that free report. It's a comprehensive report of the latest neuroscience of weight loss that I'm sure you haven't heard about. Most people aren't even talking about this, but this is extremely important and I know the report can help you. So once again, I'll see you at wellnessword.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, the three different approaches, the one you can adhere to the longest will give you the best results. Once again, Coach Jim O'Connor from wellnessword.com. I will see you at wellnessword.com.